I wrote the book for two reasons. One is that testing has become enormously important, uh, not just in education, but in public debate in general. Every time, for instance, there are international comparisons, uh, newspapers put it on the front page. But also because there is a tremendous amount of misunderstanding of testing, and there really wasn't a straightforward way for people to learn about it. So I had for years um, students coming back to me, usually annoyed, sometimes furious about things they heard out in the real world about testing. And they kept saying, you have to write a book, you have to write a book. The people who need to know about testing, policymakers, educators, concerned citizens, are not going to slog through a 300-page text full of equations. They're not, just not going to do it. So somebody has to write an accessible but thorough book. So I finally, after several of them got furious uh, at, a, at a speech given by Rod Page, I uh, decided, all right, I'll do it. And so what I did is I wrote really three separate things and combined them into a book. One part is just as a, a non-technical explanation of the key concepts that you need to understand to argue sensibly about testing. You need to know what bias really is. You need to know what adverse impact is. You need to know what reliability is. So there's a chunk of the book that simply explains that in concrete terms. There is a small part of the book that asks what test scores, at least the ones we can trust, really tell us about American kids because there is a widespread misinterpretation of things like the national assessment or international comparisons. In the back end of the book, which is what unsurprisingly has gotten the most attention, uh, applies the first part, the principles, to what I consider to be pressing controversial issues like high stakes testing and uh, testing of kids with disabilities or limited proficiency in English. Surprisingly, I, I expected that the book would be trashed by educational conservatives because it does say really unkind things about test-based accountability as we currently do it and about No Child Left Behind. But that hasn't been the case. I think that may be a sign. In fact, some educational conservatives have praised the book. And I think what's happened is that there is a growing uneasiness with what we've done over the last eight years or so, seven years. And while people don't agree on what we should do differently, there's I think a growing awareness that we've got to change something. But my hope is that the book will just contribute in some small way to a more intelligent debate about testing and the people who want to know uh, how, to, how, to, how to participate in that argument and those arguments will have a tool that will let them do that. <laughs>